welcome to Little Fitness Warm Up. I'm Madison. We're going to begin with the marching motion. Just warming up those arms, swinging them around a little bit, getting a feel for where we are today. We're going to march with big steps. Progressively, as we move throughout this warm up, we want to make our movements even bigger. So I want you to inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, pull them back down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, lower them back down. We're going to move into a squat after our next two arm raises. One last one, and we're moving into squats. So feet are going to be hips distance apart, and we'll drop to about 90 degrees and bring it back up. We want to keep our chest up towards the sky, eyes straight level. As you can see, my knees do not go over my uh, toes. But as I bend, it doesn't matter if you go to here, here, just go wherever feels comfortable. Just know when you get to your real workout, you can go a little bit further. Chest is up, eyes are forward. And make sure we're breathing. All right, we're gonna move into a shoulder stretch. In three, two, and one. So grab the elbow opposite and pull it onto your back. Lift those shoulders towards your ears and then relax them down. We're going to move into just side steps. And as we get a little bit warmer with this adduction motion, we're going to switch arms and move into adduction of our legs. So our legs are coming forward and to the side. Again, keeping that chest up, lift the shoulders up and drop them back down just to feel that full range of motion and really feel that stretch in the shoulder and tricep area. We're all looking great, keeping our smiles up, spirits high. And we're gonna move into the next exercise in three, two, and one. So now we're going to keep our hips level, feet, um, hips width distance apart. And we're going to come into a bicep curl with our arms. As we get comfortable with this motion, we'll move with our hips square, slight at abduction of the legs. So our hips are square, which means that we're not rotating our hips up. We'll get more range of motion if we rotate them up, but we're really just working on those a B doctors right now, just getting them nice and warm. Remember to keep those elbows in towards your body. Chest is high as well, shoulders are back down. Smile on the face always helps. So the next exercise we're going to go into is a little bit more complex, so really watch what I'm doing. And I'll try and explain it the best I can. If you were with me on the last warm up, I did this exercise as well. And it's called Dancing Shiva to Side Body Stretch. So it's a little bit of a balanced position. Stop what you're doing. Plant that right leg down. And lift the left leg up and to the side. You can bring your arms out just to give you a little bit more balance. As we exhale, we wrap our leg around the back, tucking behind, and give it a little bit of a side body stretch. Coming back up, nice and slow, and stretch it out. We'll do three more of these, and then we'll move on to the other leg. So it's really important to keep that core engaged. It'll really help keep you stable in this position. Last one. All right, moving on to that other side, keeping that right leg nice and stable. You can keep a slight bend in this knee, bringing the left leg up and crossing it over and behind and stretch. Nice. You can keep your balance a little bit better if you focus on one point. You're gonna see me wobble a little bit, so I might not be the best to focus on. All right, this is the last 
last one. We're gonna move into some calf raises. All right, so let's just shake out our legs a little bit before we move into a new position. And we'll start a little bit further back. And as we step forward, we're gonna go onto our toes and back down. Once you get comfortable with this, we're gonna add a tricep extension. So I'll show you that from the angle. We've got forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. When we go onto our calves, it can be a little bit difficult. I know I have weaker calves than most, but you really wanna try and push through the ball of your foot and keep that motion forward. It never hurts to smile in this position either. All right, give me one more of these. And then coming back to center. Right now we're gonna move into a lunge. So pick the leg of your choice. Take a big step forward. And you can come up onto the ball of the back foot. Just make sure you can see. Um, so as we're in this position, we'll feel our hip flexors stretching out a lot. The best way to keep your form and engage those quads in this position is to actually keep that knee over the ankle. So my knee is over my ankle, and then it goes straight back. First thing I want you to do is put your hands on your back, push those hips a little bit more forward, maybe go up on to a little bit further onto the ball of that back foot, and then lift the arms up. We're coming into chest flies. So arms come forward and out, forward and out. In this position, belly button is engaged towards the spine, hips are square, chest is lifted up towards the sky to allow our shoulders to fall back into this position. Awesome job, give me one more of these and then we'll switch to the other side. So just rotate those feet and you should be able to hop right into that same position on the other side. This time we'll bring our arms up, feeling that engaged hip flexor. My knee is over my ankle, arms reach up, and allow them to fall backwards as we give, our, give ourselves a little bit of a chest stretch here. So arms can clasp behind the back. If that feels good for you, you can grab opposite elbows or just open up like you're giving, you're about to give someone a big hug. Great job, this is a good position to smile in. Feel those good positive energies. Let's sink a little bit further into this stretch. We're gonna drop down to our hands and knees in three, two, and one. Hands plant down but brings back to meet the other one, and we're on our knees. From here, we're gonna go into some cat-cows. So inhale, cow, belly drops down, shoulders roll back and down as we expand our chest forward. Exhale, using the strength of our arm to push our torso behind our shoulder. Belly buttons to the spine, inhale, belly drops, pulls forward. Exhale, pushing to the back of the spine. Shoulders expand outwards as we protract them away from our midsection. Inhale to come in. Exhale, pushes out. Don't worry about the range of motion in this position. We're just warming up, so if you want to keep those ranges a little bit smaller until you feel better with your back, that is totally fine. We're going to move into the next position. And we're going to stay pretty similar to this one, but we're going to tuck our toes under our heels. And as we feel capable, we're going to push our hands, our weight forward into our hands. And just give me a little bit of a lift with one of the legs. Now set that leg down, maybe lift the other leg. If this feels good to you, just keep alternating each leg. But if you want something a little bit more out of this exercise, I'll have you lift both knees, protract the shoulders, giving a little bit more space. And there's a reason we call this the beast pose, because it burns. 
If you want to take it a step further, maybe add those knee touches in. This goes away. All right, we're gonna do this for five more seconds. Hold on to it. All right, set those knees down. Fingertips go away from you. Thumbs pointing outwards. As we plant our hands down, and as we stay here, if, if this feels good for you, if you want something a little more, lean a little bit further back to feel a really good bicep stretch. My hands are a little sore today, so I'm feeling, feeling a little bit of tightness. But feel free to make this a fluid motion. Maybe we inhale forward, exhale, relax backward a little bit. Inhale forward, relax back. Inhale forward, relax back down. And just to release our, our wrist, we're going to put the top of our hands flat on the ground, fingertips facing towards each other. And just a gentle rock side to side. There doesn't need to be a lot of weight in your hands. This is just to stretch out the wrist. All right, we'll move on into the next exercise. We're going to do a plank today. So hands plant firmly on the ground. Knees are a great option. But if you want something a little bit further, we'll tuck our toes down and push into the mat. We'll hold this for just a few seconds. So stay with me here. If you're getting a little bored in this position or antsy, feel free to rock forward and back. This will give you a little bit of control with your shoulders and your arms on which muscles you're actually engaging. And we're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release all the way to the ground. Inhale, lift up very slightly with the chest as we pull our hands backwards for a cobra. Exhale, release down to the mat. Inhale, spine strains just a little bit more. Exhale, release down. Inhale, biggest one yet. Legs are engaged to support our lower back. And as we inhale, our chest rises. Exhale, lower it back down. From here, plant those elbows forward into sphinx pose. Hands are planted firmly on the mat. Legs are engaged, feet are engaged, toes are engaged even. As we roll our shoulders onto our back, our elbows tighten and we can pull our chest forward. This is almost an isometric contraction with your arms in this position. And give me some nice deep breaths here. Just stretching out our abdominal muscles that we worked so hard in beast pose and plank. Giving it just a little bit of a stretch. From here, hands plant firmly, push back up onto the knees. And we're going to move into a bird dog. Inhale, right arm lifts, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, left arm lifts, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it back down. If this feels good for you, stay here. If you want something a little bit more, we'll add a little bit of a tuck in and release out and down. So for that um, stronger modification, we'll reach out. Elbow to knee touches, crunching in. Extend back outwards and down. job everybody. We're getting really close to the end here. So let's do one more on each side. All right. From this position face forward. We're still on our knees but one of our legs pops out. We're actually going to stretch our um, adductors right now by stretching this inner thigh. 
So my foot is flat on the ground. I'm trying my best to put all of my weight into the knife edge of the, the furthest edge from my foot. From here, I'm gonna try the, my best to keep my hips squared forward. You'll feel a little bit of a pull in that hip flexor as well. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, maybe pull over to that side. We'll stay here for about five more seconds. Hand can be on the leg here or the hip. And we'll bring it all the way back up. So let's switch out those legs. Weight's on the knife edge of that foot. My knee is directly under my hip, which is underneath my shoulder. Arms reach up. And as we exhale, we'll shoot our arm towards that extended leg. Try not to put a lot of weight on this leg, but just a little bit for support. Holding this one for another five seconds. Coming all the way back up, bring that leg to the forward and step right back up. So now we're gonna move into a quick cardio session and we're gonna move into high knees. So for this, we'll just bring our knees up as high as we can. If this is good for you, stay here. If you want something a little bit further, add a little bit of hop in it. Almost like we're running, but we're jumping over something while we're running. So let's keep it going. Keep it up guys, good time to smile. All right, let's give you your best. We got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Hope you have a nice work.